So friends, as you can see, this is Poplar Street. And there's a famous picture of Elvis when he was a teenager that was taken right by a telephone pole. And you can see there's the picture right there. And in the background, of course, you can see the buildings are missing over there. But here's the telephone pole. And you can see the angle of it. There's the curve right over there. There's the pole. The poles are missing on that side. But you can see the businesses are on this side. Now, at one time, you can see they had roofs on them. The roofs have been since removed, but it used to have a top over. So right here is where that picture was taken. We're at the corner of High and Poplar. So this is High Street and Poplar. And there is the telephone pole, friends, that's in that picture. That is Elvis as a young teen, maybe 14 years old, something like that. Right here by this telephone pole. <clears throat> and his house would have been, he lived at 572 Poplar. This is even numbers on this side, so the house is further down, down there. I'll show you in a video now, it's missing, of course, there's businesses there. But this is where this was. That was a liquor store across the street. But you can see how the curve is. And this is actually an unusual intersection because it's a T. So you can see that that's the edge of the curve where it starts making the turn right there around. So this right here is where this happened at, friends. Right now, it's Clark Bell Bond Company. And this is Good Samaritan Church and Outreach Ministries. This is 550. Poplar. Right there, friends. There's a young Elvis in front of that telephone pole right there. So friends, this building right here is 342 Washington. And this next building, there's an empty lot. And then the next building is... three eighty two so three eighty two three forty two so in this empty lot here is where the very first place that they lived when they came here from Tupelo was three seventy Washington which would have been in this field right here somewhere along in here this building is three eighty two so if you skip fours it would be three eighty two three seventy eight 374 370 so right about there would have been where he lived then they moved from there around the corner to 572 poplar which is going to be right around the corner and that building is not is not there anymore either that is the area where the bicycle pick was taken right there But 572 Poplar would have been, you can see that's 568 right there. So 572 Poplar would have been right here. So he moved from there to there to Poplar. From here, they moved to Lauderdale Court. So for all you unbelievers, let's examine this just a little bit. This is an older picture of it, and you can see that this building is for sale. And then I'm going to show you a really, really old picture when it was actually SNS Drugs. And the story goes that a lady was going into the drugstore to get her film developed, and she had one picture left. And she happened to snap it of a young Elvis, not having any clue who he was. But later, she gave it to the Presley family once she figured out that it was actually Elvis. And this would have happened at this drugstore right here, which was s and And I'm going to show you a picture of the drugstore. And this is before the awning was torn off. Now, you can see on the old drugstore picture, the awning was there as well. Now, there's no awning there uh, in the video, as I showed you.
So what you see, if you look to the right first, let's look at High Street, you see it's not directly in front of the drugstore or, or adjacent to that road. It's a little further up to the right. And you see SNS drugs right there. You see the awning and you see the telephone pole right there. That is where he was in fact standing with that bicycle when the lady snapped his picture and walked into the drugstore to get her pictures developed. Right there, friends. So now let's compare this version to the version of Elvis uh, on the bicycle. If you look to the right, you see those two rooftops. Now you see those same two rooftops in the part of the picture over on the right hand side. And you can see him again, and obviously the awning over his head, the telephone pole. So it all matches up, friends. This is Popular and High Street. S&S Drugstore, Memphis, Tennessee. And now let's talk about the bicycle a little bit. So it's believed that he got this bicycle, a Firestone Pilot Classic, on his 13th birthday because uh, Graceland found a picture of him on the same bicycle, but the fenders were there. In this picture, the fenders are removed. I'll show you that picture now. And in this picture, they found it with the number 13 written on the back of it, and it said Elvis's birthday. And that was in Gladys's picture collection. And that would have been January the 8th, 1948, and they moved to Memphis in November of 1948, and they lived, as I showed you, at Washington, which was just around the corner from here, and then they lived on Popular, which was just up the street from here. Or Poplar, P-O-P-L-A-R, not Popular Street, but Poplar Street. And that would have been behind Elvis where he is standing on the bicycle or standing by the bicycle right here on the left-hand side, just past this clump of stores right here down on the left-hand side. And incidentally, um, his uh, many stayed here at this particular address even after they moved on to Lauderdale and some other places. And here is a, uh, a directory showing a couple of things. It shows SNS drugs at the top, 548. You can see that. And then as you scroll down to the bottom, it shows Minnie Mae still living there at, this would have been Poplar Street. It's, it's going, friends. It'll be there in a moment. You see her right there, Minnie Mae Presley, 572 at the apartments. This is a picture of Minnie Mae. Elvis called her Dodger. And this is Elvis's grandma uh, at Graceland. And she lived, if you walk in the house in the foyer and you walk to the right of the staircase, uh, there's a set of stairs to the left that go down to the basement. If you went through the door to the right, that was her bedroom. She lived in that little area right there. And she's actually buried next to Elvis on his left, which I think is odd that he's not buried next to his mom, but Elvis has Dodger to his left right there, friends. Another interesting thing is she was born in 1890, died in 1980, so she lived to be about 90, and she outlived Vernon and Elvis. She actually still lived in the house even after Vernon passed. So friends, I just found that bike picture where it was in front of the telephone pole. All that stuff matched up. So I thank you so much for watching and tighten up every chance you get.